Hi everybody. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to turn your name, whether you did cursive or print, doesn't matter. It works the same way, um, but I'm going to show you how to turn this into that. Okay. Or I have a bigger one like that. All right. So you're going to need your colored markers today. First step is finding a black marker at home that you can use. Um, I'm using a black Sharpie marker. That's what I would give you if you were here in the building with me. Um, but you just want to find a black marker that you can trace over your pencil lines nice and slow so you're staying right on the lines. Anytime you trace over pencil lines, you may still see some of those pencil lines. So it's important to take a quick step of just using an eraser and then going over your lines to get rid of any of those pencils. Mark's still showing. All right, so now we're actually ready to start. Oh, I see one little more. Now, not everybody's going to have the same type of markers at home. So you might have thin markers like these. You might have the thicker markers like these. Um, it's not going to matter. Any markers that you have will work for this activity. So I'm just going to work with the small ones today. Um, and I'm going to pick just a couple colors that I want to work with. You can pick as many colors as you want. So if you want to use a whole bunch of colors, that's fine. If you only want to use a few colors, that's fine too. So I'm just going to work with these four and then I'll make a color pattern that repeats. Um, so I'm just going to start by figuring out what's the pattern that I want in what order do I want that pattern. All right, so I'm going to start with my orange. And basically what I'm going to do is trace around the outside edge of the black marker. And when I'm tracing, I want to try to stay as close to the black line as possible so that there's no white spaces in between. So I'm just going to trace around that whole letter. So I'm going to keep with the orange and I'm going to do the same exact thing around every single one of my letters. Now notice in my B, I didn't go on the inside because the black line um, connects all the way around. So there's no opening, which means I can't get into the inside. So the inside stays white because the black line blocks it. So on my U, it's gonna be a little bit different because there is no blocking line on the top. So I can go around the whole letter inside and out. So then I'm gonna do that same thing around every single letter. Okay, so you can see I finished with um, the first color around. Um, so now I'm gonna start with my second color and I chose green. And instead of going around the black outline now, I'm doing the same thing as my orange with my orange, but I'm doing it around the orange outline, not the black outline. So my orange outline becomes the one that I follow around. You're gonna notice at some point, you're gonna end up blocking, and I wanna make sure I get rid of the white because I didn't start right on the line like I should have. Um, I'm gonna know you're gonna notice that eventually you're gonna run into a spot that is too small and you can't get through to the other side of your letters anymore. So now this section is closed. So with my next color, I actually go in there and then I go right around. I can't go all the way up to the B. And eventually every single one of my letters is going to connect. Okay, so now I've got three colors around. I'm gonna just about to add my fourth. Um, so you can see how I have some closed in spaces that are connecting all my letters now. So I'm not able to get, oh, I can get through there probably for one more color around the E. 
um, and maybe inside here just to do this part of the S, but then I'm pretty much going around um, all my letters, having them all connected, okay? Um, so your goal is to get as far to the edge or close to the edge of the paper as possible.